The collection log. It's the foundation to my spreadsheet which I use to generate and complete one task at a time. After completing all easy tasks, I am now faced with new challenges where my skill and perseverance will be put to the test more than ever before. I welcome you to Season 2 of Generate Task, the medium tier. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we went on some more trips at the fishing trawler for the second piece of the angler outfit and completed two more diaries in the Ardoin and Mauritania areas. We also obtained two new monster drops being the granite legs from skeletal wyverns and another tsar drop being the obsidian rings. Today we'll focus on another hard clue unique task and to start things off we've got a pretty big clue step to complete where we will unlock the Lamort soundtrack. So, we've got the um, where is it? Hard clue. We've got the hard clue ready right here. The Lamort step. This one means that we have to go to the death altar now for that. We need to do Morning's End Part 2. So for that we need to do Morning's End Part 1. And for that we need to do Roving Elves. And for that we need to do Regicide. So we're gonna start off with Regicide. And then we're gonna have to do a few more quests to be able to do this one. But it's gonna get a lot of stuff unlocked. Mainly Regicide is, is a nice one. So that we can actually teleport to Tier 1 win. Here we are, the final time we have to go to, through the underground pass. And it's the first time that I forgot something. Where the hell is my spade? Well, back we go. <laughs> God damn it. The very last time, boys. We had to go through the underground pass to reach the runwin. What a beautiful moment. Now we can finish the quest and then we can teleport here every time we have to come. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my god, look at the chat head. <sighs> here we are finally finishing Regicide. After way too many times of going through the underground pass, this is finally the end. Regicide completed. Beautiful. 15k coins, 13k agility XP, which gets us fairly close to another level. And now we can move on to the next one, which is gonna be Roving Elves. Which we can start by talking to Isselwyn and Elunet within the Isavdar forest. Let's do that. Let's do Roving Elves now. Talking to a ghost. They vanished, but I'm still talking to Isselwyn. But now I also have to talk to Elenet, so I do have to hop. <laughs> That's pretty unfortunate. Now we just gotta kill one of these Moss Guardians. Let's do it. Finish him. There we go. Give me the seed. Thank you very much. Now we go back to Elenet. And then we go to the Waterfall Dungeon. A beautiful crystal tree. Very easy quick quest. Not bad. Shields are for wimps. Give me the boy. The bow. <laughs> Not the boy. You can keep the boy. Just give me the bow. There we go. Roving elves completed. 10,000 strength XP. That's not gonna do much. But we now have the crystal bow. And I think we can start Morning's End Part 1 as well. Start Morning's End Part 1. Sure. Here we are in Letia. Alright. Time to start Morning's End Part 1 as well. Locked on. No! He moved! Okay, thank god. <laughs> Whew. All right, one more to go. The blue ones. All right, sit still now. Before I shoot the goblin. That should be all of them. Boom. 169 quest points. I guess we can start Morning Zen Part 2 straight away, sure. Boom. Thieving level. Now, the one and only quest that everyone hates. Morning Zen Part 2. The final one on our list. To finally continue our clue scroll, let's let's get going, shall we? I think we now have the absolute best gear we can get for the the Temple of Light. Ah, here we go, the first one, and it begins. <laughs> okay, we can go through here and then rotate this one to the west. Boom, and that's it. That is it right there. Now we can go through here. Oof. Boom. Whew. We made it. Now does this already give us a soundtrack? No, it doesn't. Can we go through here? We can't, right? Oh, we can. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Whew. I thought I messed up. Okay. So now we have the, uh, the item list. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't like this at all. It's like a new 50 item collection, okay, pretty much. 
Time to deliver the first inventory to the dwarf. The first 25 items. Here you go, mate. I've got some with me. There goes everything. <laughs> 25 more items to go. There you go, that's the first of the three special items we need. Um, now all that's left is the Privilege History and also an Archery Ticket, so... Let's get the ticket first and then the book, I think. Professional Range Guild Archer. Alright, that's tickets. And now we just need the Privilege History, okay. There we go, we got the book from the bookcase. And now we just need to go back one more time. Rotate this mirror for the very last time, hopefully. Go through the light door. And let's give the rest of this junk to Torgal. Sure, take them all. Ah, oh, the most beautiful death talisman I've seen in my life. Now we can enter the mysterious ruins. Oh boy. La Mort soundtrack unlocked. Beautiful. Let's also quickly finish the quest now, of course. Use the newly made crystal on the altar. And now we're just going to use it on the black crystal on the top floor. And then we are pretty much done. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Now we just need to do one more trip to Letia, which unfortunately we'll have to go through the uh, the forest because I don't have any teleport crystal charges anymore. But we can just charter to Tyrus and then run from there and then finish the quest and continue our clue scroll. OK, so let's actually Search Elunet right here near the Tyrus camp. Oh, they're here. Perfect. So I can uh, charge the crystal and then just teleport to Letia. It's probably the fastest thing. Here we go. Whew. And they're gone as well. Nice timing. Now we can talk to Arianwin and finish the Notorious Mornings and Part 2. Get rid of all the dialogue. I don't care. Oh. Oh. You have completed Mornings and Part 2. We did it, boys. 171 quest points, 69 agility as well. What's the crystal trinket for? Allows you to enter the Temple of Light again after the quest. I guess I'll keep it. I guess I'll keep it. But now, most importantly, we have the Lamor soundtrack. Let's go to Feldor. Let's see what the next clue step is. Play the Lamor soundtrack. Easy as that. Another clue. What can it be? This is only step two, by the way, so... All right, let's do it. Let's do our clue scroll. Let's complete this. Okay, I, I do have a stall and I do have a heraldic shield, but I don't have 60 prayer yet. Um, so I'm gonna have to train prayer for this. I do have 60 prayer banked. I have it banked. I have more than 60 prayer banked, so I can easily do this. But but yeah, it won't take too long because I have a lot of prayer XP banked. I have a lot of unsold heads and worm bones as well. I think I'll just use the worm bones for now. So I need to use 771 worm bones on the Ecto to get 60 prayers. So first I'm gonna stock up on the uh, Ecto, on the buckets of slime that I also need for this. So I'm gonna buy 771 of those from the charters. And then I can uh, start actually grinding the bones and then worshipping at the Ecto to use all of them. And that should be the final five buckets of slime that we need. Let's see in the bank. We should have 771 on the dot right there. Here we go. Deposit this one. And that should give us... Yeah, 771 buckets of slime. So let's start using some worm bones. And we now have the Ectophil, so that's going to make it fairly viable. Just need nine pots. And then I can just withdraw nine of each every trip. I guess I'll use rings of jewel ring willing to bank every time as well let's start this prayer grind let's get to level 60. 52 prayer we can now <clears throat> finally use smite 53 54 i just realized i probably yeah i hit 100 combat level a few prayer levels ago <laughs> that's pretty good and apparently we will also get one more level with these six levels we still need to get cool nice little milestone 55 Wait, we can actually use preserve now that we unlocked when we uh, went to raids for the first time. I guess that's pretty cool. 56, 57, 58, 59. Guys, the final bone is getting grinded right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that is 60 prayer right there. 101 combat now as well. We can now use the prayer chivalry, which we don't have yet. We can also wield blessed spirit shields and wear vestments, stoles, croziers and devout boots. So the stole that we have is something we can use now, which means it is time 
to hopefully complete our first clue on this task. To the Karazi jungle we go. Here we go, boys. We did quite some quite some grinds for this, so we got Morning Zen Part 2 done. We got 60 prayer. Let's see if we get rewarded for this first one. Moving on. We're uh <laughs> we're gonna kill some hellhounds. <laughs> Alright, let's try this um this prayer meta then at hellhounds. See how this goes. Might be better than arranging because I think when I was doing range recently at Witchhaven, I always had to wait for the respawn as well when I killed both of them. So this might be better to have like no or less downtime, I guess. 95, gimme the third age. Boom! Yes, boys! Ceradomin chaps. That's the first one right there. And that's one of the uh, blessed di pieces that we didn't have yet. That's beautiful. Now all we really need is uh, di boots and then we are set. Sarah Domin Chaps. Look at that. That looks sick actually. Nice. First one. First unique. Let's go. Just four more to go. <laughs> nice. Well that's the first drop of this, uh, of this task. Because we don't have the Crozier yet. We have plenty of headbands but... We do not have a Crozier unfortunately. So that one is gonna hit the ground. Ah, uh, there was 82 strength. That's a strength level coming in. That's neat, I guess. Um, 554 hellhounds until 83 strength. Let's see if we can finish the task before we get that. And there it is, boys. The dreadful Amulet of Glory clue scroll. That means we have to get 79 crafting now because we can boost plus one again. So I've made some calculations and... It looks like we need 14,280 Molten Glass plus blow those into unpowered orbs and that'll get us to 79 crafting, so that's gonna be a long one. Um, I think I'm just gonna go back to Charters. I could also go and mine some sand in the desert and then I guess also grow some giant seaweed and, and cook those into ash. But I would still have to buy a lot of ash from the Charters anyway, so... I think I'm just gonna buy the lot from the charters. It's gonna take a while to stock up on these supplies and then actually use them as well. But that's what we're going with, I think. Let the grind begin. Let's work towards 79 crafting. Unfortunately, we don't have 65 woodcutting just yet. Otherwise, we would be able to get some pies to boost plus 4, which would make us able to uh, actually get 76 to make a glory, but that's not the case. Because we are two levels short from the solar sap trees. So, 14,280 molten glass it is. Let's get started. Here we are at the Corsair Cove. We're gonna spend a lot of hours here again to buy all of these supplies we need. Buckets of sand, soda ash. Let's get started. 14,000 plus to go. Oh boy. The very first Hespori seed on the account. Finally. We never got one before on any of our farm runs, but there it is. And that's actually a passive task as well. All of the different seeds that we can get from the Espori is also a passive task, but we do still need 65 farming to even try that out. But that is the first Espori seed on the account, which is pretty cool. So that's also going to be another task crossed off on the list uh, on the passive tab, that is. So it doesn't really give any progress, but still pretty cool to get. And I can't wait to have 65 farming so that I can actually try it out and, and see what we get from the Hespori itself. And there it is, get a Hespori seat. We just got one. Boom, another passive task completed. But yeah, like I said, there's now also the compost bucket and the three different seats that we can get from the Hespori. So once we're level 65 farming, we'll be able to cross off one of these for sure. Um, and who knows, maybe if we're lucky enough, we can also cross off the bottomless bucket. But that would be amazing. I doubt that'll happen, but we'll see. Well, we now have 4,500 soda ash and a bit more buckets of sand, which means less than 10,000 to go in each of them. All right, let's see. I think we have 10,000 of each now. Look at that. 10,016 soda ash, a bit more buckets of sand, but we'll just end up getting a bit more ash eventually. Here we go, make one glass, make two glass, and that is 71 crafting. The first level is obtained, only eight more levels to go. We are about halfway done with all of the buckets of sand and soda ash into molten glass. And on this next one, we are also getting the next crafting level, which is level 72. 
That means we are halfway there in our total crafting XP, so it's about 900k XP to go until we hit level 79. 73 crafting. It is over. <laughs> One, two, three more buckets with the final three soda ash. And that's gonna be all of the molten glass made that we need for 79 crafting. We are also halfway there approximately to 74. And now the uh, the easiest, the most chill part of the grind can start. Let's see how many we have. 14,307 Molten Glass. We're gonna blow all of these into unpowered orbs as well. So that we maybe end up using them at some point, uh, turning those into battle stuffs. This is much more relaxing compared to making the glass and buying the supplies. Beautiful. Let's get these final six levels. First level coming in, that is level 74, you can't really see it with the screen marker. But we can now actually craft Dragonstone Bracelet, so that was, that's something we will end up doing as well, making one of those, so that we can make the Combat Bracelet, which is going to be a massive upgrade. So there's the first level from blowing the glass, five more levels to go. 75, crafting coming in. We can now craft Red Dragon Eye Chaps, and most importantly, Slayer Rings, that's going to be another very nice unlock we got through this grind. Very happy with that one, 75, 4 more levels to go. And I'll make sure to unlock those Slayer, ring, slayer Rings after I'm done with the Glory Grind. Because that's going to be very useful to get around places. We have plenty of Slayer Points for those, so definitely going to get a few of those straight away. There's level 78. We can now craft Crystal Bows, Halberds and Shields. Interesting. Well, only one more level to go now until we get 79. And then we can make the glory and do our clue scroll. It's about two hours to go, apparently. 170k XP. Let's uh, get this over and done with. After how many was it? Like 14,280 molten glass. Supply bought and made the glass and now we blow the orbs. And we got 79 crafting, finally. Apparently we can also craft Black Dragonite Vambraces now, which is pretty neat. But most importantly, we can now go and get some poison chalice again. Try and get the plus one crafting boost and then we can make some glory amulets. But first, we don't have any dragon stones yet. So I'm gonna need to open some crystal chests, which we do have the keys for. So let's make some of these and then let's get some dragon stones. Hopefully the rest of your clue grind isn't too painful. Let's hope so. <laughs> right, let's just use these two keys for now for the glory and the combat bracelet, some iron ore. All right, let's cut these two and then let's go back to Felidor to the furnace to make... No, wait, actually, <laughs> we need to get the poison chalice first. That's true. We need to get some poison chalice to get the plus one boost so that we can actually make the glory. All right, Mr. Stankers, give me some more of those. Let's just fill our inventory and then hopefully get the boost we need once we go back to the furnace. All right, there we go. Hopefully these 11 chalices will do. Now we can go back to Feldor. And let's give this a go, shall we? Just need one plus one boost for the 80 crafting and then we can make the glory. That's not it. That's not it either. Nope. Negative. Nope. Oh, come on now. What chalices did you sell me, Mr. Stankers? There it is. All right, glory, go. Ooh. Oh, look at that. An uncharged amulet of glory that we need for the clue scroll. How beautiful is that? A massive gear upgrade as well. A very iconic item to get on any Iron Man. Let's also quickly make the Dragonstone Bracelet. There we go. Another massive gear upgrade with the Combat Bracelet. And now it is time, boys. It is time to continue our clue scroll. I think we also still need the Adamant Two Hand, which I can buy in Teverly, I'm pretty sure. So let's do that. And then we can go and do our clue step. I'm excited. After like almost a week, I think, that we spent on this, we can finally dance at the Sofenum Pyramid. Let's kill the double agent and see what our next step will be. <sighs> All right, boys, this is it. The moment of truth. Can we finish? Can we continue? Well, you weren't wrong about the, uh, the wilderness step there. Step number five, will it be the one, boys? Oh my God, we got the casket. Woo! We worked very hard on this one. Please, Jagex, give us something cool. Just give me any unique. Some some DI boots would be great. I wouldn't mind some some third age maybe. Here we go, boys. 
The moment we've all been waiting for. <sighs> I mean, sure. I mean, sure. I'll take it, you know? Whatever. Whatever. It works. It's, <laughs> it's hideous, but I guess it's a unique, right? So, it's not too bad. I mean, <laughs> could be worse. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a unique. I don't think I have this one. Yeah, two uniques now. All right, cool. Task progress, woo! Boys, it is time. Here we go. The next casket. Just give me three uniques and then I'm done with the task. <laughs> okay. We already have... <laughs> we already have the Zemarek braces, but... Boys! Sarah Dome in the eye boots. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> That's nice. That is nice. We now have every single D height uh, blessed piece that we want, pretty much. <laughs> Look at that. Let's say goodbye to the snakeskin boots. Look at that. Woo! That's looking nice. That is looking nice. And the duplicate bracers as well will take it. Uh, the ancient page, do we have that one? We do. Okay, that's fine. But that is one more unique from the heart clues. That is beautiful. That's a nice value as well. 1.1 mil. Beautiful. Well, back to the uh, the Hellans we go with another nice item obtained. So I just looked at the kill count we've done so far and we've killed 500 Hellhounds in total now in this task and only got four clue scroll drops. So that means we are pretty much almost double the drop rate now on average. So hopefully it'll even out a bit more uh, towards the end of this task. But yeah, let's just keep killing some Hellhounds. Uh, we might also get another strength level, 211 kills to go. So we might well get that one as well. That's a load of crap right there. I mean, the law runes is pretty good, 77 of them. Could definitely use some of those, so that's not bad at all. But other than that, nothing too exciting. So back to the Hellhounds we go. Ooh, there's the first Dark Totem piece on this grind. 538 Hellhounds in so far, and we haven't seen one before this. Also, two Ancient Shards so far. So we are getting some other drops along the way as well. Now, if only we were able to get a Smoldering Stone, that would be pretty insane. But obviously, that's a 1 in 32k drop. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Some type of one ice scrolls and some augs. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> we need to get the song Scorpia Dances for this clue. Which is unlocked while fighting Scorpia. So that means we have to go to Deep Wilderness into the Scorpia layer to unlock. Wait, why am I here? Okay. <laughs> to unlock the soundtrack that we need for our clue scroll. That's gonna be a bit spooky, but let's do this. Let's hope we don't die on the way there. Let's do this. Okay, <laughs> we're just gonna run past that guy. I think we are fine. Scorpia dances. Let's see when it unlocks actually. Do I have to go into the layer? I assume I do, right? Scorpia dances. Okay, there it is. We have the soundtrack. Now we gotta get out alive again. And we made it. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's continue the clue scroll. Casket on step number four, a nice and easy quick one. Well, I say that, but I had to go to the wilderness twice. <laughs> Let's see what we get this time. Moving on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was actual trash. 17k that, that reward, Jesus. Woo! 83 strength. Nice. <sighs> ah, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what we want. Maybe it's a new Gothics page. Eh, it's something, I guess. We'll take it. <sighs> 400k, I mean, that's not bad. Some pages. Do we have the ancient page? No, we don't. That's a new one. Okay, that's not bad. Only one ancient page missing. And the Zamorak page? Oh, hey, we completed the Zamorak book. Look at that. That's not bad. <laughs> That ain't too bad at all. Okay. How many um how many shared uniques do we have right now in total? Because that were two new ones. That's pretty cool, I guess. Shared. Only 11 more to go. Cool. We've just discovered this broken fence over here that you can jump over. Which is pretty cool because we got a clue scroll right here. And now we have to go to the barrows. 
That's pretty cool, and apparently you can also run up this hill, but then it gives you a, a game message. You slide back down the rocky escarpment. The more you know. We are still learning every day about this game. Get over here, you old man. <laughs> Stop walking away! Oh my god. He's taking us all the way to the other side. <laughs> well then. He doesn't want to give us the reward. 40. Boom. Okay, no casket yet. I can do that. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time I got this one, so I wasn't sure. But we can easily do this one. We have the rune heraldic shield. Okay. Ooh. We already have the magic combo. And we already have, I think, two rune heraldic helms. I think we have four and five. Which one is this one? Three. I think that's a new one. Yes, it is. Number four. Look at that. H3, H4, H5. Decent. Decent. One unique to go. Let's get this final one. Boom. And this right here is kill number 1000. We've killed 1000 of these hellhounds now on this hard clue task. And we've got uh, 12 clues by the looks of things. So we are definitely still below the drop rate. Well, over the drop rate. Uh, we are dry on clues in general. Uh, two ancient shards, one totem piece. So also dry on those. But that is all fine. We just need one more unique. So <laughs> let's hope we get it fast enough. Well, there's the next casket after two more trips through the wilderness. Let's see if we finish the task right here. <gasps> oh my god, that is very cool. Um, that's a new one. Uh, Berserker Necklace Ornament Kit. That is definitely the task finished right there. I don't know if we'll ever get a Berserker Necklace. Uh, we might just make one just for the fashion scape because that's a pretty cool one to get. I think that one looks pretty cool, the, uh, the Berserker Necklace Ornament Kit. Let's see, there should be 20 uniques now. There it is, 20 out of 158 hard clue uniques on 40 clues on the dot. So one unique every two clues. I think that's pretty lucky. I'm pretty sure the drop rate is like 1 in 2.8 or something like that. So that's pretty nice. We now have two ornament kits already, the dragon boots and the zerker necklace. That is nice. All right, another task done. Beautiful. Time to move on from the hellhounds onto some other content. Uh, here we are again after six days working on this hard clue task, mostly because of the crafting grind, of course. We can finally complete another one. That's the second hard clue task in the medium tier done. There's two more left as well, so we will have to get ten more uniques before we finish the medium tier. The Felidor medium diary. Okay, I feel like we've been having a lot of diaries already in these first 20% uh, on the medium tier. Definitely don't mind another one. Let's see what we have to do for this one. And that'll be the end of another episode where we got some great new uniques from Clue Scrolls and also marked off some amazing milestones on the account along the way. I hope you enjoyed, throw a like on the video if you did and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on any of the progress. Also big shout out to Austin for his support over on Patreon and I will talk to you all soon, take care.